Let's find the value of a for which 4 to the a plus 4 to the a is equal to 80. Now, 4 to the a plus 4 to the a is 2 times 4 to the a. This is just like adding x plus x, which gives 2x. This is equal to 80 on the right hand side. Now let's divide both sides by 2. So I divide the left by 2. I divide the right by 2. So 2 can cancel out 2. Leaving behind 4 to the A to be equal to 80 divided by 2 is 40. Now let's break down 4. 4 can be written as 2 squared. And this is raised to the A. This is equal to 40. And from indices, this power and this power can multiply. So 2 times a gives 2a. So the result from here becomes 2 to the 2a. This is equal to 40. Now our next step will be for us to break down 40. And I'm going to be using the division to do that. So I use division of 40. Now 40 divided by 2 we have 20, 20 divided by 2, we have 10, 10 divided by 2, we have 5, and then 5 divided by 5 is 1. So we have 2, we have 1, 2, 3, which is 2 to the 3, times 5, that results to 40. So this becomes 2 to the 2a, equal to so instead of writing 40 i'm going to write 2 to the 3 times 5. and notice that the base here on the left is 2 and because of that i'm going to be taking the log base 2 on both sides so i'll take the log of 2 to the 2 a remember we're taking the log base 2 this is equal to we do the same thing to the right we have log of 2 to the 3 times 5 base 2. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm that says when I have log m to the p, this can be written as p log m. And we're going to be applying this to what we have here. So this expression can now be written as 2a log 2 base 2. This is equal to the right hand side I have log 2 to the 3 times 5 base 2. Now I'm going to be applying the law of logarithm here and I'm also going to be applying the law of logarithm here as well. Now the law of logarithm I'm going to be applying here is that when I have a log of a number with the same base, the number and the base are the same, the value is 1. And the law I'm going to be applying here will be, when I have the log of, let's say, A times B, just as we have here, this can be expressed as log A plus log B. So multiplication is associated with addition. So log 2 base 2 is 1. So 1 times 2a is 2a. And this is equal to, now I'm going to be writing this in this form. So we have log 2 to the 3 base 2 plus, because of multiplication, log 5, which is this 5 here, base 2. Now, our next step will be for us to apply this same law. This is known as the power law of logarithm here because of this power. So this becomes, we have on the left, we have 2a equal to, so this expression now becomes 3 log 2 base 2. And then plus log 5 base 2. Now we have the number and the base to be the same, just as we have here. An expression like this is 1. So we have 2a equal to log 2 base 2, that is 1, times 3 is 3, plus log 5 
base 2. Now, to get the value of A, we divide each of the term by 2. So I'll divide this by 2. I'll divide this by 2. I'll also divide this by 2. Now, 2 cancel out 2, leaving behind A to be equal to, this is 3 over 2, plus why this is. Well, there is an invisible 1 here. So this will be 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. And this is our final answer. So now let's check. So let's check. Our given question is 4 to the A plus 4 to the A equal to 80. This is the left hand side and this is the right hand side. So we want to prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, which is 80. So I'll take the left hand side because that is where we have the unknown. Here we have 4 to the A, so 4 to the A, A is 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 plus 4 to the A, so this is 4 to the A, A is 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. Now we apply the law of indices that says when I have A to the M plus N, this can be written as A to the M times A to the N. Remember, addition is associated with multiplication. So this expression cannot be written as we have 4 to the 3 over 2 times 4 to the 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 plus now we're going to be writing this the same way so that becomes 4 to the 3 over 2 times 4 to the 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 now we're going to be reducing 4 4 can be written as 2 squared and this is raised to the 3 over 2 times 4 can be written as 2 squared and this is raised to the 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 plus we do the same thing here 2 squared raised to the 3 over 2 times this becomes 2 squared raised to the 1 over 2 log 5 base 2. Now from indices powers multiply so this 2 can cancel out this 2 leaving behind 2 to the 3 so this is 2 to the 3 times now powers multiply that means this 2 can cancel out this 2 leaving behind 2 to the log 5 base 2 plus the same thing happens here 2 cancels out so we have 2 to the 3 times 2 cancels out, so we have 2 to the log 5 base 2. Now, actually, we apply the law of logarithm here that says when I have a base raised to the log of A base B, we see that the base of the log and this base here are the same. The law of indices says the number becomes the result. So this is 2 to the 3, which is 8 times now applying this law here we see that the base here and the base here are the same so the result will be 5 plus 2 to the 3 is 8 times the base here and the base here are the same so the result there is 5 so 8 times 5 is 40 plus 8 times 5 is 40 and 40 plus 40 gives 80 which is equal to the right hand side so our result for a equal to 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 is actually correct well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time Take care.